There he is. Nice article in the Post, buddy. <laughs> oh, okay, he is on his way. Now be warned, he's mercurial. One minute you're best friend, the next you're a leper. And he needs direct answers. Anything tentative, and you've lost him forever. Mm. I think we should rehearse a few scenarios. A meeting, Kevin. Hey, are you up for this? You sure? Because I got a little bit on the line here. I have a toast point. It's called a John. Hey, Carl. Good to see you. How are you, Eddie? So, Eddie Mora, what's your secret? Medication. I'm on special medication. Okay. Well, it's a formula with a complex method, but of course, research was a component, massive research. I knew every helix of every scrap of DNA in every company I bought. Paper stack like the Himalayas in my office, and you know what? The stocks went up. Buy a hair. Sure, stocks rose, but who wants to do all that work for a shitty little uptick? It's not the visceral kind of spike you want in short-term holding. So I dispensed with all the hard statistics, and I went right to the rumor mill. So you bought your stocks based on what? The Tom Toms beating in the street? Sure. I mean, share prices aren't really based on how a company works. It's about how mass psychology works. So if I found certain algorithms in the perception of a stock... Pattern recognition. That's your psycho health. Well, not everybody understands the patterns. And that gave me a little bit more of an uptick, but it's just a parlor trick. So then I went on to door number three. Are you really implying that you have some sort of ultimate formula? Well, from 12,000 to 2.3 million in 10 days. I do have a formula, Mr. Pierce. Delusions of grandeur. I don't have delusions of grandeur. I have an actual recipe for grandeur. I don't know who you are, Eddie, or what your game is, but I'm sure of one thing, you don't work in my world. I'm up to my ass for the investment guys, and you don't have their half-terrified, half-cocky line of crap, which is not to say that I like yours any better, but you obviously pick your stocks in a way which I haven't seen before. Take a look at these companies. Tell me what you think. Right now? Yeah, take your time. <clears throat> sure. These companies aren't the question, are they? Explain. Unless you're playing both sides of the fence. Control the whole power enchilada. But no, these companies wouldn't get you there in emerging markets. You would have to... Oh, whoa. Whoa, this must be some big-ass merger you're contemplating. And there's really only one company with enough bling to justify a merger with Van Luna Associates. Who have you been talking to? Oh, I'm just connecting the dots. Is Hank Atwood really going to go for it? Well, you're an amazing con artist, so you're a very smart young man. I mean, come on, the two of you together? The whole world have to come begging for energy like Oliver Twist and his bowl of gruel. Well, now you're going backwards. What else you got? A prediction. It won't come off. Why is that? You'd have to back off Libya. Really? Well, you don't want to hear this from some schmuck and he's right home. All right, you get your shot. Meet me tomorrow at the St. Regis at 10 and tell me how the gutsy little schmuck who needs a ride home would restructure these deals. And you better be prepared. I'm at your disposal. You don't really live here, do you? Well, I mean, the Spartans weren't big on amenities. Yeah, and they eventually got their asses kicked. I didn't go in. I wanted to walk, move, digest, ingest. There are moments in life, moments when you know you've crossed a bridge. Your old life is over. Van Loon was my bridge. I finally had my shot. Wall Street would provide my nest egg. But then how far could I go? CEO, a global force, maybe president. Time somebody shook up the free world and got things done.